So I'm working on a Robert Johnson style Sweet Home Chicago type groove in the key of E major. Normally played on an acoustic guitar, but I thought I'd plug in the telly today. And I'm using my thumb and index finger for this. I'm using some double stops on the top and on the bottom I'm keeping a, a bass note happening. It's a 12 bar progression and I'm going to show you the whole 12 bar sample that I came up with right now. I'm using the bridge pickup. I've rolled off some of the tone and of course you could use different pickup combinations as well. You could add some gain to your amp settings as well if you like that tone. So I'm playing a bottom end low E note. I'm muting that. I'm keeping that steady. And on the top end I'm playing some double stops and then I've got a call and response form happening. So I'm playing these double stops and I'm following it up with this lump shuffle that Robert Johnson made a great usage of. Okay, so you could slide if you like that as well. You can experiment with those uh, rhythmic variations. Then to the four chord, which is an A. Maintaining that shuffle rhythm muted. And on the top end, I'm doing a hammer on the second fret of the B string, followed up by the open E. Alright, back to the one. Here's the five. Alright, this is a short example, so I just ended it. Of course, I could just make this a turnaround and keep this groove going. The five chord is a B7. bar on the five, I'm muting the B note, and with my index finger, playing those two notes of the chord. Moving on to my four, which will transition into the one. It's a great move to transition from the four chord, which is an A, into my one. That's my turnaround line to transition into the one and end the song. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on the Sweet Home Chicago Robert Johnson style groove in the key of E major. This time around using an electric guitar and fingers. You can really vary things up adjusting the tones using the different pickup combinations and amp settings to vary things up from the acoustic style. So remember you can subscribe to the channel. Each week I post something new and the channel itself has a lot of different videos in the traditional blues guitar style. Alright, send me a like if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you again really soon.